Good morning once again students. So this time, I will teach you how to present your table of contents in a presentable way so that you could be able to align the, the parts of your table of contents as well as on how to reflect the pages of your table of contents. So this time, you will not be using a uh, a tab or a space bar so this is our focus this morning So, what you are going to do is we are going to open a blank document so that we could be able to present no, a table of contents of your manuscripts, of your output, or any compilation that this table of contents will be applicable okay so first uh, we are going to set the font size and style of of this blank document okay so we will be using Arial, and then the font size is 12 and we are going to put a heading no okay so the heading is table of contents okay so this time our sample is a table of content or contents of a thesis no a thesis proposal okay so we have to highlight this and then okay so first step is we are going to make a table no because this table will help us to align to arrange the parts of the table of contents that we are going to place in this content or uh, this part of your manuscript okay so insert and then we are going to have a table here okay so we will have four okay we will have four columns and then it's up to you how many rows that you could be able to have in making a table of contents okay so this is it now so first is we have to merge this portion now we have to merge this portion here merge and then um, here of course to make it um, uh, to make it more presentable we have to put this at the center and then we have to put a page here okay so the next one is of course after so from the page we should have to provide a space and then we will have to merge the third row okay so all we have to do is to merge and then this is this time we are going to have a title page title page okay and then after having a title page another merge no another merging of the cell so here we are going to have the acknowledgement acknowledgement and then uh, if you want uh, no if if you don't like merging so you could simply add a you could simply insert no insert column and then uh, below okay so after acknowledgement is the table of contents okay so another column will be inserted okay so list of tables 
and then insert list of videos okay so and then after this no for you to be able to add more columns all you have to do is to press tab okay so you are going to press tab here and then so we will provide another space and then the first thing is we are going to have the first chapter okay so the first chapter okay so this is chapter one okay so what you are going to do is you have to merge this one and then after merging then you are going to have the here the title of chapter one no the main or the title of chapter one in true production okay so for example if it if this is an introduction okay so you will have this or we could have also the the problem okay so let's go back to introduction okay and then so since pages will not be occupying a bigger space so we could have or we could adjust no that's the space here and then so the first uh, the first side heading of chapter one must be also indented okay so the first side heading is uh, for example back background of the study okay and then after background of the study uh, the purpose no purpose of the study and then research questions research questions after research questions um, we will have the theoretical lens theoretical lens okay and then um, significance significance of the study um, scope and delimitation of the study and then the last one is definition of terms okay so always remember that i am only giving you a sample no? i am only giving you a sample here so it might be there are uh, lacking parts of chapter one but what matters most is you will be guided in the presentation of your table of contents. Okay, next, let's have chapter 2. Okay, chapter 2. Okay, all you have to do is to merge here. And then, chapter 2 is um, review of related literature okay so and then let's proceed to chapter 3 okay chapter 3 in the presentation of the chapter only letter C no uh, is the capital letter and then uh, the rest is a small letter and then or small letters and then 1, 2, and 3 should be written in a Hindu-Arabic number. Okay, so what we are going to do here, of course, we have to merge this one. And then we are going to write the title of chapter 3, Methodology. So under Methodology, under Methodology, we have Research Design research design then we have research local then uh, after this role 
of the researchers or if ma uh, if marami researchers if isa lang i could be researcher okay and then after this um research instrument research instrument and then collection of data collection of data after collection of data is um, data analysis and of course ethical considerations okay so this is now chapter 3 so since this is only a proposal so it is expected that we will only be having chapter 1 to 3 and then after chapter 3 of course your references your references and then after references appendices and the last one is your curriculum curriculum vitae okay so if you try to look at this no if you try to look at this the way you presented your table of contents is actually a very good uh, presentation no so no need for you to use tabbing no need for you to use um spacebar for you to be able to align the contents of this of this part of your manuscript so and then of course uh on title page we will have no uh, we will use the call this one no we will use the small roman numeral okay so that's i and then um, okay so this one and this one and of course chapter one now in chapter one the hindu arabic number will start so this is number one this is also one so uh everything that we are doing here no are imaginary pages and then purpose of the study then research questions then we have theoretical no we have theoretical lens then significance of the study scope and delimitation and then okay then let's proceed to chapter 2 okay for example this is 14 methodology this is uh, 25 okay and then 25 26 27 okay 29 29 then 31 Okay, 32, 34, and then on the references, uh, this is 37, uh, 42, and uh, 48. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to delete the, okay, so the extra rows so we have to delete okay so this is how are we going to present our table of contents okay so there are cases that this preliminary pages this is written in a capital letter so all we have to do is to have this in an uppercase manner okay Up, uppercase and then we are going to bold this one then of course all the chapters will be also bolded okay this one and then this one okay so the last step that we are going to do here is we are going to remove the borders so how are we going to remove the borders here so we are going to click this portion 
this one and then let's proceed to the borders and then we will click no border okay so if you try to look at this this is a good way in presenting your table of contents okay so if you try to look at this no um this is for me this is uh, one way no of presenting our table of contents in a presentable way so i hope students that you learned something uh this morning and see you for my next tutorial no especially on how to align the your references in an apa format no since we will be using the open hang and open hang and the sentence case because we are using the seventh edition of the uh, seventh edition of APA and referencing. Thank you so much. God bless everyone and good morning.